<laughs> Bye. See you later. I'm wearing my Nike tennis shoes from Nordstrom Rack. Oh my god, I cannot find my freaking pocket anywhere. We're in an airline club. We're clubbing right now. <laughs> Waiting for breakfast. Let me get my coffee. Look at us. Me and my dad. Best buds for life. Let's see. Outfit of the day. We got Everlane jeans. Nike shoes. Everlane shirt. Old Zara coat. <laughs> Oh wow, look at that. So fancy. Getting some coffee. My dad and I have arrived in San Francisco and look, Manekineko. We have the, the little cats. <laughs> this is me as a cat. That looks like a dog, this one. All the places around here are super adorable. Let me just walk to the corner of the street to show you. It's like the little colored houses. I just wanna, it, it didn't cost like an arm and a leg to live in San Francisco. I would move here in a heartbeat. Here's my dad. You can see his back. He's wearing a little puffer jacket. Check out that tree up there. Let me just focus this. Wow, majestic. And then you can see the Golden Gate Bridge from here. I keep zooming, you can see it. Wow, San Francisco. kitchen goal so this is the airbnb where i'm staying at i am in love with the way they decorated this place it is so freaking cute dude if i lived here i would be filming every single video on that chair so stinking cute. We have made it. Here's my dad on my side. 
So this is the venue and that's the line. So there's quite a long line. I already see people dressed up. I'm not dressed up. I just look like my derpy self. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna take a picture of this. Sold out. I'm so freaking excited. It's windy. Hopefully you can hear me. But yeah, that's the line to get in. And the line continues in <laughs> this street, like right across the street. <laughs> This place was so freaking good. If you live in San Francisco or coming in San Francisco or anything, come here. That was seriously one of the best breakfasts I've ever had. Fash browns cooked to perfection. The pancake was nice and fluffy, not very like heavy feeling on your stomach. Omelette was good. Everything was so freaking good. It was literally like a hole in the wall. I found it on Yelp. From the pictures, everything looked delicious and in person, holy fuckeroni. It was, <laughs> it was so good. Oh, you can see my dad. He's right behind me. He's a little camera shy. I asked him, like, oh, do you want to be on my vlog? He's like, uh, maybe not like your mom. <laughs> but you guys love my mom, so that's why she's on camera a lot more often. So now that it's quiet, my dad's on the phone. Concert was the best thing that has ever happened to me. <laughs> it was so freaking good. I was dancing the whole show, singing to every song. I lost my shit during Virtual Insanity, like I said. I did not expect them to play it, and they did. So I was just like, <laughs> oh god, I, I lost 
my shit. I think that's the first Jamaica Queen song that I remember listening to when I lived in Tijuana. So it was a huge deal to me. So yeah, it was amazing. Jay is an amazing performer. He's dancing all over the place, jumping, and uh, never missing a beat. So yeah, it was well worth the travel. Hope they come back <laughs> soon and not in another 15 years. So we shall see. So we're going to head over to Uniqlo because we don't have Uniqlo in San Diego. It sucks. <laughs> it sucks actually. So I'm going to head over to Uniqlo, um, see what I can find. We're just walking around Union Square, checking out stuff, stores, anything to pass time. This is amazing. I look like a slob. I had no idea Uniqlo had sunglasses. They're actually pretty cool. The brand that every social media influencer pimps out, Aritzia. I'm being such a tourist right now and just like <laughs> recording everything. Don't at me though, I'm from San Diego, okay? This doesn't look like San Diego. See, here's that store, Ritzia, that like Este and um, Alana, all of them wear. It seems very them, not so much me. It's a little too girly, I don't know. I mean, it looks nice, but <laughs> I went on their website and their stuff is freaking expensive. I see my dad, he's over there. <laughs> what is he doing? I have no idea, he has headphones on though. Probably listening to music. Man, San Francisco really loves to miracle. Playing Carla right now. I wanted to hear this song live. Wow, we're touring the Dyson store. <laughs> we have nothing else to do. Look at this. Wow, fancy humidifier. Fancy heater. Just what everyone needs in their house. A fish. Yo, somebody find Walter. <laughs> Don't run over me. Oh, look, fashion blogger right here, blocking traffic. Anything for the gram. Doing it for the gram, part two. So edgy. What is this place? This magical looking place in the city. <laughs> Trees and flowers and a little dirt trail. Huh. This is nice. This looks borderline a little bit creepy and that's why I love it. But look at this. Look at those clean geometric lines. Look at this view. <laughs> We're gonna eat some more. Found the restaurant called Hog Island Oyster Company. So we're gonna try it out.
And just like that, we're back at the airport. Back to this view. There's a yoga room in here. What? <laughs> yoga room. So we're back at the airport. We can't even go to any lounge. They don't have any cool lounges here. Not that we can get into. They only have the lounges that we cannot get into in this terminal, which I mean, it's whatever. Also, look at the glasses. I bought them at Uniqlo. I look stupid. But, oh, here comes my dad. <laughs> He's <laughs> giving me the weird look because I'm vlogging. I found the yoga room. Oh, there's no one in here. Smells like essential oils. I just want to see it. Ah, Matt. No sleeping. <laughs> All right, keep going. Heels are going to heaven. We're back. <laughs> back in San Diego. Sunny San Diego. So much sun. Yes, he's a poeta. El poe, me extrañaste. Hola, Francis. Ay, qué bonita. All right, guys, so I'm back home now, back from my little San Francisco Jamiroquay adventure, and it was so much fun, so much fun. I love San Francisco. San Francisco is one of my favorite cities, and if it wasn't, you know, if I'm ever expensive to live there, I would move there in a heartbeat. Even if I had to, like, live in a shoebox, <laughs> I would go. So the concert was amazing, like I said. So good. I kept looking at my videos on the plane back and um, yeah, now I'm just like sad. I have the post-concert blues because I don't know when I'll see Jamiroquai again. It could be in a few months. Actually, not a few months. It could be maybe next year or in the next, I don't know, 10 years, 15 years. I don't know. Help me out. Tour in the U.S. Please tour in the U.S. I want to see. I want to see everything live again. But um, it was an incredible show. If you ever have the chance to see Jamiroquai live, do it. You will regret it. You'll dance a lot. And if you know the songs, then you'll be singing along throughout the whole show. <laughs> I could probably cry if I like, get super nostalgic and share how I got into <laughs> Jamiroquai's music. Well, okay, I'll tell you. So I was a little kid living in Tijuana. My dad, um, he used to work for a radio station, so he would get like a bunch of CDs. And I remember the first song I ever heard of Jamiroquai was um, Virtual Insanity. And there was just something about it that like got me super hooked. And I remember the little, I mean, the Jamiroquai logo with a little bull hat thing. And um, I would like look around his CD collection. I mean, my dad's CD collection is humongous. And I remember seeing that same logo in a few of the CDs. So I used to be that weird kid that always had my CD player and headphones on and I'm still that weird kid at heart but now I have my my iPhone <laughs> with Spotify and my headphones on so but back then I would just grab CDs and put them in my CD player 
and listen to the whole CD and then sometimes I would shuffle the songs but it was always like on repeat and then I would carry like a little thing a little bag full of like CDs inserts but it wasn't until MySpace and also the whole LimeWire thing that I started really like diving into Jamiroquai because I finally had the access to to do that and yeah <laughs> My dad likes Jamiroquai. I think he, he really, really fell in love with the whole show and the band and everything this time around. But it was like me falling in love with that sound when I was a kid. And then whenever I would get the opportunity to hear more about their music, whether it was physically or digitally, I took advantage of it. And that's how I became a huge fan. And it's crazy that I've been listening to... The, the music for over like 20 years it makes me feel so old hope you guys enjoyed this vlog let me know if you did in the comments below and if you like jamiroquai i would love to know what your favorite song is mine man i just have too many but mine would be a tie between seven days in sunny june and Cosmic Girl, Cosmic Girl is one of my favorite songs. Just like, mm, but Space Cowboy is also really good. And then from the new album, I love Cloud Nine. Since I heard it, it was just one of those songs that really, really struck a chord. But I also do like Super Fresh a lot. That's a fun song. Now I'm going to be naming all the songs. Sorry. <laughs> Well, let me know what your favorite song is in the comments below. Subscribe if you're brand new and I'll see you actually very soon with another vlog because like I mentioned before, Saturday is record store day. I love record store day. I love it. So I'm going to take you guys along to my favorite record shop here in San Diego and we're going to be buying up some records. I don't know how many, but we'll see. For sure I need to get the Phoenix one, but more about that later <laughs> thank you guys so much once again and i'll see you very soon bye